No longer is it time for pushy, selfish, entitled sales reps. In fact, it's the number one reason we're hired. People think that they need to have their reps trained better or to perform better, but what we really actually uncover is that the real true issue is the culture, right? I think Peter Drucker said it best, culture eats strategy for lunch. And we don't have to be beholden or have a gun to our head to keep top performing sales reps, right? That's a big myth and it keeps people up at night. Top performing sales reps, I don't wanna say they're a dime a dozen, but entitled top performing sales reps are a dime a dozen. A lot of times, just by removing that entitled sales performer, it sets and frees the rest of the team to outperform because they see that the organization isn't gonna put up with that kind of behavior. And then it attracts and enables us to recruit other reps that way. And that's where your sales strengths identifier comes in because no longer do you have to guess or wonder am I being sold to in this interview because I'm desperate and I need to get a body in place. You're going to understand the science, the data behind what makes up this individual. And then you're not going to interview them from a place of need. You're going to put them into the scenarios and role plays of your actual environment so you can see how their science, their data, their intrinsic capabilities work in your environment and don't have to be beholden to untitled sales reps.